Okay, it's the 9th of March 2011 and we're for some reason at a standstill on a very dreary morning at about 6 o'clock. sea is a little bit active, but not very much. Wind blowing. <laughs> so we're now approaching Neptune's Bellows, which is the entrance into an old caldera. Ah, there we go. We're a little ways within the caldera itself, including when it's going to be going. The tricky part of navigation is there's a big rock in the center and the pilot has to go between that rock and this right side to avoid the rock. And the winds and the currents can be tricky, causing some boats inadvertently to hit that rock. This bay was used principally in the old days for whaling. Those big tanks were for fuel and they're apparently smaller tanks for the whale oil. As you can hear, the wind is howling out here now. noise is the anchor. It is said that this bay would be just blood red and that you could walk across the bay on the whale carcasses. A horrendous vision for modern
The device on the left with the green uh, is the bow thruster and his hand moves that black knob either left or right. He's using it, I believe, to keep the nose, uh, which is anchored, uh, pointing at a certain point on the shore. And this is the radar, obviously. And the view on the radar to the right is the view that we have straight ahead. That's where we entered, and you can see as I pan across this face of the caldera that it, the rain has changed to snow. The wind, I think, about 18 knots. reasonably good weather once we were down at Antarctica. This may be a prelude to what we're going to have on our two days back up to Ushuaia, which start uh, tonight across the Drake Passage. This is where we were this morning, and the one place I did not go to the beach on. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Check log, check log, here, ladies and gentlemen. Check log, check log, here. 